Hi, my name is Alana Light and welcome to Horse Videos 101. Today we're going to take the footage you shot the other day and you uploaded and we're going to turn it into a very short horse video. Um, I suggest you leave this YouTube open and open a second window with your own footage and that way you can stop and at each step you can do the same thing. I think that's a lot easier than trying to take notes or memorizing, um, especially if you've never edited at all. So. Without further ado, let's make our first horse video and I look forward to seeing your finished product. Okay, now we are in our YouTube channel. First thing we need to do is go into Video Manager, double click on that. Now we go down to Create. You'll see a little video camera that says Create and double click on it. It'll automatically bring you to the audio library you can click on different songs and maybe make a note if you like the, uh, the name of it. If you click on it, you'll hear how it sounds. Don't worry about the duration. Um, you can actually change or find different musics based on the mood or the genre. I, I had clicked on country and folk and found a, a song that I liked. It was called Tonto. Um, I make a mental note that I like that particular uh, song or that background music. And then next thing I do is I go to video editor. I start everything with a music track. That's, that's sort of the driving force for me. You can do it however you want to, but I particularly like to cut to music, um, especially when I get to um, more complicated timelines. For this exercise, don't worry about it. But I am going to go to music, which is the little note right up here. I click on it. And you can either go back and forth and find music that you want and double click on it. Or what I did was I took a mental note that I would like the song Tonto. So I type it in and hit search and there it is. I left click it. I drag it down to this box here that says drag audio here. Very simple, let go. And there's my music. And then we stop it. Now we need to go back and see our video. So I hit video editor. And all the videos that you've ever put up on YouTube will be right there. So I start with my very first video of Sophie that I took the other day and I drag it above the music and take a look. Oh, look at it. I took video of the dirt and then I went up. That doesn't look really pretty. So I need to edit out the dirt. And I need to get rid of the audio because I talk through the whole thing. So first thing I do, and I will do this for every clip, click the audio and bring it down. So now you don't hear me talk, which is a very good thing. Stop this. The top, the front of the video and the back of the video, there's like, you can scroll it and get rid of it. It's kind of a very easy feature. And what I want to do is start where I see Sophie and it's a halfway decent shot. Say right here. So she starts and where she ends, obviously I don't like that. That's a, that's a really pretty shot. But I do like this little clip at the end, which is it's really short, but it's a medium shot of her. So what I'm going to do is actually import the same clip over just to get that shot right there. I want to get this shot, but for now on the first shot, I'm going to just get rid of it. And I'm going to end it. See as Sophie leaves the frame right there. So my first clip is going to be Sophie running and you don't see any dirt. You don't see me taking weird shots, <laughs> but we want to get the other little one, the little medium shot. So I go click back on video editor. I'm going to take the exact same frame again and I'm going to pull it over here. 
So it's the same clip, but I'm going to use different parts of the clip. This is why I edit everything. Once again, take click the audio, get rid of the, the volume. That's annoying. Now we've already had that first shot, so I'm just going to skip that whole first shot and looking for that medium shot. Where I see your little head pop in. There we go. And it's really, really, really short. Let me see if I can get a little bit. I can pull it back. There's her nose. One really cool feature of this is they allow you to do slow motion. So the clip is really, really short. So one way I get around that is I am going to go ahead and click slow motion for that particular clip. And I'm going to make it really slow. I'm going to put four times. That way it makes it a bit, little bit longer. And then I can um, add my next uh, clip to that. So right now this is how it looks. Let's see, let's see my next, uh, what my next shot looks like. You can preview it by just clicking on. Okay, so it's, it's a good shot. So we're cantering still, just a little bit different. We're just gonna go ahead and drag that as our third clip. And you can see the beginning. I'm gonna start going through here and um, we're gonna get rid of the dirt. Don't wanna see the dirt here. she runs out of the shot so I'm going to take it slide this okay I'm going to maybe make this a slow motion um, two times the speed and how about a pan and zoom a little bit Makes it a little bit different. Good. Click my video editor again. Oh, you know what I forgot to do here? Although you didn't really hear me. I'm still gonna go ahead and um, click audio and make sure the volume's all the way down. Okay, video editor again. Now, um, I'm gonna click on this one. See what happens you here. Stop, and you can have them turn around, which, are, which makes great transition. Okay, that is perfect. She's going off to the left. She's tracking left right now. Now I want to track, have her track right, so it doesn't look odd when you're watching this. I'm going to capture the part where she is going left, turns around, and goes right. That's a great transition shot. Um, so I'm going to drag this down to my next one. I'm going to remember to take my audio because I was talking in it and drag it down to nothing. And I'm going to drag it to just the area I want. I don't want the dirt. Okay, so she's coming in the shot. Oh, I don't like it. I didn't like that one. I need more off of it. I was kind of shaky. Look at the sky, the tree. It was hard to do it with the little digital camera. Um, so let's try like about here where she turns the other direction and I don't really want to see my husband videotaping me. So I'm going to, sorry, bye Jeff. Go back here, see how that looks. And then she's trotting. Okay. No, just double check. Yep, I had the volume off there. Hit video editor. So how about we pick one more shot. Okay, let's see this one. 
Block. Good girl. I like that one. Let's see what this one looks like. Oh, she's on the wrong lead. I don't want that one. So I'm just going to end it um, with this particular shot here. Block. Okay. She didn't actually stop or walk or anything, but okay. I'm going to bring this back down a little bit. I'm going to go to my audio. Once again, get rid of my voice. Okay. So, if we start from the beginning, this is what we have. So we have one, two, three, four, five clips. And what I want to do is have transitions. My favorite transitions are cross fades, mainly because they're not distracting and especially with sort of a slow song that makes it nice. They have all sorts of um, different effects you can use, but really for most of my videos, I use cross fades. So basically all I'm doing here is quite easy is uh, hit video editor, hit effects, and drag it in between each one of the, uh, the clips. Video editor, dissolve, Video editor, last thing I do is I put a title at an end. This is uh, especially important if you're doing sales videos or whatnot, you want to put some graphics on. Um, okay, stop, center title. See, you drag it to where that little purple thing comes up and drop it. Then you go up where it says text. Highlight it. First. Horse exercise. Okay, you can make it bold. You can make it smaller if you wanted to. You can change the background to say dark blue. Um, you can change the font color to another color. So now we have our first graphic, first horse exercise graphic, and now at the end we'll just put end. So another thing, if you want the timeline bigger or smaller, you can scroll this. Okay, let's stop this. So last one we'll hit in text already. How about um, a fade at the very end? So we'll click this and drag it to the very end so that we have a center fade. And we'll just go the end on this. And you can change the font if you wanted to. Make this one bigger. That's good. I like it. 
Let's preview the whole thing. Video. Let's go back to the very beginning. And we'll start first horse exercise. Okay, and there's two things I forgot. Um, I'll put a cross fade at the very end, right here. Stop this, and I'm gonna have a cross fade from the first title to the first video. Right here. And then we're done. If you want to, you can change the name to my first, uh, my first horse video, and then you can go ahead and publish it. Yay! Um, you do have a choice here, and. And we have it as private right now, which is good. Because um, this is just a practice. I probably don't want to publish it public right now. Um, so that's what I was looking for, make sure it was private. Thank you so much for following along and watching Horse Videos 101. We'll have another exercise for you in about a week. Hope to see you then.